Dear friends, welcome to Tech Nursery. In this video, we are going to discuss about three three important concepts in React JS. First one is JSX dot element. Second one is React node. Third one is React dot React element. We will discuss it one by one. First, JSX dot element. When we build a React JS application in TypeScript, we have to mention the type of each items. If we create a component, class component or functional component, and which returns a JSX, we have to mention the type when we write functional component or class component. So, in general, JSX dot element stands for the type of a component. In general, specific type. That's why this is a syntax. const my component type is JSX dot element which return a JSX return div hello world closing tag div so this my component functional functional component return type is jsx dot element it's a specific type which is return a class component or a functional component in react js now when we go to the react node it can represent any valid content, any valid content type that React can render. What are the things React can render on React.js? We can consider React node type. All those contents are React node type. It can be JSX dot element or our React element also. JSX dot element is a React node type. React element is a React node type or a string, normal primitive type, string, number or null, undefined, boolean or array of React node values. The array of React node is also React node type. For example, we have a type props object, children. Children is React node. If you check this component, we mentioned that this JSX have children so we mentioned children is of type props which is a react node type here so anything this children can be rendered on the screen in react js so that is of type react node here and their component return jsx in specific gen general type jsx dot element here which can be rendered on a React JS project, React JS application that can be considered as, considered as React node. It can be string, number, null, undefined, boolean, or even JSX dot element or React element. Now let us move to React dot React element. Actually, React dot cre create element generate a JSX. This is the basic function which will run when we write JSX commands. So, react.create element of div null hello world. Actually, this part is, a, is equivalent to our JSX code div hello world. This line of code is equal to div hello world because we are creating an element inside JSX. We are creating a div element inside JSX. Actually, this is what happens under the hood in React. When we write something this in JSX, actually React treat this as react.create element div null hello world. Here div is the element. It can be p or span. 
for test and null null stands for props any props we pass to div something like rough we have input rough okay in this case this null that, that means we don't have any props hello world is the children children can be another element another element like your react or the create element it can be a array of elements so this react dot create element is of type react dot react element it's element type this so this particular element in jsx is react dot react element i hope you got a basic idea to further you read your documents in react documentation you will get good understanding i hope this video is helpful for you